So, um, a young Nigerian footballer who plays in Denmark, I will not mention his name because, because the matter is still in court and you're not allowed to mention his name. There's a name ban in Denmark, of course. That is only for Denmark. And because this is social media, there's no limitation as far as boundary is concerned. I would not want to mention his name. And of course, out of respect for his privacy and of course, his family. Now, this player had been dragged to court on allegations of sexual assault, rape, and all of that. And of course, the matter had been in court up until yesterday when judgment was passed. And now this is the judgment. The judgment says that this young Nigerian footballer has been sentenced to jail for one year on sexual assault, on the, on, on, on the grounds of sexual assault, rape, and you know things related to that and of course <laughs> people have gone to press of course in nigeria with the name of the player of course in the headline and there have been all kinds of arguments from left right and center the family now is claiming that it is false <laughs> the report is not true that the player is not in jail <laughs> Now, here is the reason. Now, here's what's happening. Here's what, 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 what has happened. The player has appealed the judgment. Now, that's an information I needed to pass. The player has appealed the judgment, which means that if you appeal a judgment, you have, if the judgment, the appeal is processed and the appeal goes in your favor, then things change. But if the appeal doesn't go in your favor, the judgment stands, which means that if his appeal fails, he will go to jail. But as we speak, because he has appealed the judgment, he cannot go to jail. These are things that we've experienced even in our personal lives. I've had sometimes tra traffic offenses here in Germany. There was a time I drove with an expired number plate. The, the car, the number plate expired yesterday. It was a no short number plate. I did it. I bought a car. I registered it for five days. The number plate expired yesterday. I didn't take note. So I drove the car. The police accosted me. And they gave me a fine of a thousand euros. When they gave me that fine, it doesn't mean I had to pay immediately. You have right to appeal. And I appealed, and then the fine was reduced to 300 euros. So you can use this example also for this case. This guy has appealed the judgment, and that means he will not be in jail until that appeal is processed. So, but the, the story that he's been sentenced to one year in prison is not false. So get it right. It's not false. I know that there are people trying to do damage control. I understand that. Because obviously we pray that end of the day he succeeds or he survives. Because we don't pray that this thing happens to a young player who is just growing, who has a lot to offer. My wish, my prayer is that his appeal goes well and he doesn't go to jail. But to set the record straight, he's been sentenced to prison for one year. The biggest Danish newspaper, Extra Ballet or Extra Blatt, reported it. Of course, they didn't mention name because obviously it would be illegal in Denmark. But outside of Denmark, anyone who has reported the story is right to do so. I hear some persons are claiming to swear in Nigerian newspaper. I think that they need to get understanding, they need to have knowledge. Because this thing is, it might be ordinary, it might be simple, but it's also complex. Before doing this video, I've consulted very well, spoken to my lawyer friends before deciding to make this video. So. If you make an appeal, if the appeal goes in your favor, things will change. But if it doesn't, judgment stands. So if they are akin, uh, if the players, um, if the players um, appeal doesn't go through, he will still go to jail for one year. But we don't pray for that. So I'm just trying to set the record straight for the purpose of education and information. But we want to wish him the best. We hope that we we'll pray that he survives this.